with the Most High. I said love to everybody this morning. And this morning we have a very, very, very interesting program in terms of herbal medicine. And I hope you have your pen and paper remembered because this is going to be happening to lots of people. You know what I mean? Each one, teach one. Um, today we're going to talk about respiratory illnesses and especially asthma and lung cancer. And a little bit about COPD and also emphysema because COPD can lead to emphysema and different troubles in the lungs. All right? And um, we say in our medicine that the lung is the tender organ. Why the tender organ? Because of where the lung is located, up in the chest cavity. So anything from the atmosphere coming in, the lungs have picked up. And the lungs are supposed to do what? Remove carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen from the atmosphere and feed it back into the loop of the ventricle, right ventricle or left ventricle, back to the atrium, and it goes back down to the system. Feed your cells, your tissues, and again, the same thing happens every single day. Come back out of the lungs again. The lungs pick up oxygen again, back into the system. That's how the lungs work. Now the lung in the atmosphere is called a meta organ. And it is very important to know that the lung and the liver correspond together. So for instance, if you have cancer in your lungs, you can go to the brain or the first place the cancer goes is to your liver. So we're going to teach you how to take care of your lung cancer and prevent your lung cancer from going into your liver. Because that's where, the, that's where it goes after it leaves the lungs, if not to the brain. We're going to teach you how you can get rid of cancer in the lungs by doing natural things. Because lots of people believe chemotherapy is their best choice. But chemo don't feel lung cancer. Now, what caused lung cancer? Lots of things. We'll get into that. But when you go into a herb shop and you ask for something for the lungs, the, you, the average so herbalist, give you a few herbs that he knows it knows is good for the lungs. He might give you a long word. He might give you a leaf. He might give you a campaign. He might give you a whole hump. But he do not teach you about the condition of the lungs. Because each condition of the lungs need different herbs. So we're going to teach you now today, if you have a condition of the lung, what the condition is and how you can use the herbs, different herbs, to fix that condition of your lungs. Because if you have a lung condition and you use the wrong herbs for the lungs, you or your lungs will get worse or your lung condition will become more chronic because you've been using the wrong herbs. So we're going to teach you now what the conditions of the lung is and what herbs you can use. And again, if you want to get your herbs, you can call Ambrosia um, Health Foods. It's in Brooklyn, New York. The number is 718-469-0985. Or if there is a herb shop next to your, your, your environment, next to your neighborhood, you can shop in these places and get these herbs you're going to mention. Alright? Asthma in children is very prevalent also. So we will teach mothers and fathers how to fix asthma in your children. We will get to that. Right? And we will show you a few things that you can use when you have troubles in the lungs. Any kind of troubles in your lungs. Because, as I said, we call the lungs the tender organ. The tender -E 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 organ because of where it is located. And that is why we have to take care of the lungs. Now, if you walk up here and you get tired, something's wrong with your lungs. Something is wrong with your lungs. If you can blow a balloon, we don't have a balloon today, but we're going to use a, one piece, piece of a glove. If you can blow a balloon, if you have cancer in the lungs, and the cancer is giving you short breath, you will have to test your ability 
to know how good your lung is or how it's functioning by blowing a balloon. That will tell you how strong your lungs is. Let's try this, okay? That's strong lungs. That's how you can know how strong your lungs is by blowing things, blowing into blue, or blowing into holes, and that will tell you how strong your lungs is. Now, if you have asthma and you feel that you're getting an asthma attack, you can make a small hole like this, and you see me blowing the balloon. Don't pull in, but blow out. When you blow out, if you feel that you're getting an asthma attack, when you blow out, you expand the, the bronchi and the air passage expands so that the air comes in. And if somebody is around, they can tap your lungs in the back and then the asthma attack disappears. Learn that. It's a technique. All right, now let's talk about different ailments in the lungs. Let's go over here. Come over here, Major. The respiratory system is very significant. And if you don't have good digestive health, because everything starts in the earth, in the digestive system, because once you have any kind of troubles in the lung, yeah, you have to go to the earth to fix the troubles in the lungs. So you have to go to the digestive system to fix any troubles, any part of the body. Because once you have troubles in the respiratory system, you're going to have troubles in the circuitry system because the respiratory system and the circuitry system works together. So if you don't have good lung health, you can never good you can you never have good circuitry health. It's a